the Caliph doesn't care about us. Allah will judge between us and Umar. Umar was surprised. May Allah have mercy on you. How could Umar know about you, he said to the woman. He's responsible for us. He should know. Umar and the Starving Family This story is taken from the book Umar bin Khattab, His Life and Times. Hey kids, there's a lovely read-along storybook waiting for you. Watch this video till the end and find out how to get it. Medina has never been better. He has said everything right. Army, treasury, you name it. Tell me about it. Umar Farouk is the best ruler ever. Here, have some more gravy. Everyone in the land of Medina lived happily. But there was one family that wasn't happy. Mum, I'm starving. Is dinner ready yet? We'll have something soon, dear. Why don't you go and play? There's a good girl. The night was getting darker and colder. Umar and his companion, Aslam, were walking in the streets of Medina. <coughs> Who's out there at this time of the night? It must be the Caliph, Umar Farouk. He patrols the streets to make sure everyone is OK. Umar and Aslam kept walking until they reached the volcanic rocks outside Medina. A fire was burning in the distance. Aslam, looks like there are some travellers here. Let's go and investigate, said Umar. Umar and Aslam hurried towards the fire. Mama, I want food now. Just a few more minutes, my dear. You have been saying this since so long. <laughs> Peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. Umar greeted the woman. And upon you be peace. Wa alaikum assalam. Is everything all right? Why are these kids crying? He asked. It's dark and cold and the kids are starving. So what's in the pot? Asked Umar. Just water, to calm them down till they fall asleep. The Caliph doesn't care about us. Allah will judge between us and Umar. Umar was surprised. May Allah have mercy on you. How could Umar know about you, he said to the woman. He's responsible for us. He should know. Umar Farouk turned back. He and Aslam ran to the room where the food was stored. Umar took out a sack of wheat and some oil. Aslam, please put this bag on my back, Umar requested his companion. Can I carry this for you, O leader of the Muslims, offered Aslam. Umar replied, Will you carry my burden in the hereafter too? Aslam remained quiet and hoisted the bag onto Umar's back. They hurried to the woman and her hungry children. Umar put the bag of food down. Umar took out some of the wheat and oil. He started blowing at the fire. He was the ruler of the Islamic State and there he was, covered in smoke and cooking for a poor family. The children gathered around the food eagerly to eat. Allahumma barik lana feehi wa at'imna khayran minhu O oh Allah, bless us in it and feed us with what is even better. May Allah reward you, kind man. You are better than Umar Farouk. You should be our caliph, not him. If you go to Umar Farouk, you will find me there, insya Allah.
said Umar. The woman didn't know the kind man was Umar, the caliph himself. Would you like your name to be featured on Look Me Facebook page? Would you like a colourful e-book from us? Learn the dua in this story and send us your recitation. Details in the description below. Give this story a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.